Hey everybody, so what we're doing here is we're going to put an, our epoxy flake coating on this garage, about 30 by 30. Garage is actually, it's, it's in pretty rough shape, there's a lot of pitting, a bunch of little tiny cracks, but we'll fix all that. We've got to get the surface all ground up first, make it nice and uh, porous for the epoxy to bond really good. We actually use a polyaspartic, well on this we'll use a polyaspartic base coat, put the flake in it, and then a clear polyaspartic top coat. Um, I'll show you a little bit, it's kind of loud in here, but I'll show you a little bit of the, the pitting in the floor that we have to fix. There it is right here. All these, all those little pits we're going to fill in. we got a two-part really fast setting uh, polyurea that we'll mix up. And we just pour it in there. It hardens up. It, it, it fills them in, then we grind them smooth. So we got a bunch of it. Luke's just using the floor buffer with our metal diamonds on it right now to grind the floor up. You can see it does a pretty good job of scratching it up, cleaning the surface off for us. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I start filling these in. All right, so that's how we're going to fill in all that pitting right there. Is just, we'll just use our two two part really fast set in polyurea. I only mix eight ounces at a time because it sets really fast. We just dump it on those pits, kind of squeegee it into them, and then we'll let that harden up and then we'll grind off any of the excess. And then that'll be repaired and then we can epoxy right over that or coat right over it. So I'm just going to keep continuing doing that on this really bad area. As Luke goes, I'll just keep filling them in as we go. So like I said, guys, this floor was in really rough shape. Probably one of the worst ones we've done, but we've done a lot like this that are really similar. And there's a key way to fixing these so when you get done coating them, they look like they look like showroom floors. And, you know, one, one of the keys is knowing what products to use and how to use them because there's a very limited amount of time to use these really, really good high-end products. So... You know, if you got a garage floor that's in rough shape, you're wondering if you can fix it, make it look really, really nice, you can. You just need to know how. And I can help you with that. I mean, I got, I teach people how to do this. I got a course down in the description that'll teach you my garage floor epoxy coating course, teaches all these, all these things here, guys. So just check that out down there. All right, so that's how we basically fill all those pits. You know, the little hairline cracks get all filled in. So I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit. Luke's gonna keep grinding. I'll just keep following him down as he grinds, throwing everything in. And then when we get ready to grind this off, when this sets up enough, I'll be back. I'm gonna show you here in a second just how fast this stuff sets up. So I'm probably on my third or fourth batch that I've mixed in this cup. And if you let that stuff sit in the cup for more than 30 seconds at a time, this is what happens. The stuff just hardens right up. But the good thing is you can pull it right out in one piece and then you're left with a brand new cup to mix in again. So that's just to give you an idea how fast this stuff sets up. And we're getting just we're getting done grinding now. We'll just we'll just finish up what little bit we got and uh, clean it up and this is what we're using for diamonds. These are the type of diamonds we're using. These are 25 grit kind of soft to medium bond. So they're pretty aggressive. They do a good job on that. So this is pretty much all ground for us. Now we're just gonna put the rest of the repair material down, let that set up, and we'll grind that off. This stuff bonds to the concrete really, really good. It takes 
you know, a diamond cup wheel on a grinder like this or even a bigger grinder to really get it off. And we like to grind off all the excess stuff and just leave the stuff in the repaired areas. So this is what I would say is quite a bit of repair for a garage. <laughs> you know, we would we charge extra for this, about a dollar a square foot extra. This is about a thousand square feet. So, you know, to repair a garage like this is about an extra thousand bucks. Cost materials, time, labor, I mean, that's really a bargain. But it does, this stuff does fix it really, really good. Those cracks, they shouldn't reappear, you know, unless Frost is getting underneath this and moving it, but I don't think it is in this garage. In fact, I think they keep this heated. All them spalls, all those pits will be fixed. Those won't come back, especially after the coating's on. So now Luke's just going to grind the, the excess of that off, and the remainder will stay, you know, in the fixed area, the, 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 the damaged area. And then we'll go around the edges, we'll buzz all the edges with a hand grinder, we'll buzz the garage door openings with a hand grinder. Clean it really, really good, so hopefully we'll get to that stage today. And then tomorrow when we show up, first thing in the morning, we can stop putting the base coat on, flake it. That should take an hour, hour and a half to dry. Then we'll scrape it, vacuum that up, and then put top coat on. We'll be out of here tomorrow, they can get back in here in a, you know, a few days. So we're going to continue grinding off the repair material. Probably got about an hour's worth of grinding here for that, maybe a little less. And then we'll get back to you here shortly. All right, so this is what it looks like after all the repairs are done, after all the repairs are ground, and then everything's vacuum cleaned and ready to go before the base coat. You can kind of see where the cracks were. There was a bunch of those little cracks in here because no saw cuts. Nobody saw cut this floor when they poured the floor. So it had a lot of shrinkage cracks. You can see how we filled in a lot of the spalled areas with our repair material. So that's, remember how bad this section was? That's all filled in and it's nice and smooth. So we got all those filled in. We got them ground down nice, double checked everything. And now we're getting ready to mix the base coat. We're mixing the color. It's going to be a black base coat. So we're getting ready to mix that color. Actually, he's mixing the color in now. We got about five gallons of base coat going down. 200 square feet a gallon. And we're gonna get ready for that in just a minute. So to learn how to do these flake coatings and repair garage floors like this, check out the link in the description below, uh, below garage floor course and then make sure you subscribe come on back and see part two to check out just how this turned out it was absolutely amazing thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one